Hey guys, welcome back to Master V and Sons channel. Today we're going to be installing a new display thing on my 2012 uh, Volkswagen Golf. Alright, so the reason why we're changing out our display is because the one we had previously this is a we got like a, another one that was uh, to change it out and it wasn't really that good it's a kind of like on the cheaper side it's not, it doesn't have like a specific brand but uh, it had a lot of problems where uh, the backup camera didn't really work uh, the, it always had it was it always turned on and uh, the Bluetooth thing always kept on uh, even if the car was off and you take out the key it still was on the display was on and uh, yeah, so it had a lot of issues that I didn't like, and I think we wanted to upgrade it and get a new one. Alright, let's do it. Let's start taking it apart. Right, now we're gonna unscrew the four bolts that are holding the display. There's one right here, 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 and here. Alright, we took out the old one, and now we're gonna put the new one back in, or the new one in. Alright, so since some of these wires that we are gonna install with the new one, they're pretty much the same exact wires. Like, there's a navigator one which we already installed from the last one, so we're gonna keep that one. They're exactly the same, and as well as the mic one. So for us to install our USB ports, we need to take out, we gotta take out the whole system, this part, and also the cup part, just so we can get to the USB ports that we already have here and change one out. So for the other two wires that we had previously, we made a little cutouts uh, using one of the old ones that were just solid. And uh, in the future, we're, we might possibly make another one, but uh, that's that's uh, just custom for this one. So that might be coming up in the next videos. Okay, so we're going to use the same button and use it for the same USBs. We're going to use the left side for USB 
and the right side for uh, CarPlay. Now here we're gonna install it. Okay, so we're gonna install the the uh, the GPS cable, the antenna one, and uh, the Wi-Fi cable into these three ports. Okay, so we're gonna install the GPS one first. The Wi-Fi one next. And for the radio one, we're gonna plug it into here into here first. Then we're gonna plug this part into the antenna part. Okay, next steps are the power connectors. And as you can tell, here there's, all of these are, are made for a specific spot. You won't be able to put them anywhere else. See, it only fits into one spot. Let's put in the two USB ports. And then the power one. And we also have an extra cable that for my car, I don't, I'm not gonna need it. And we also have an aux cord that will go in right here. Okay, so previously we actually we actually made thought this cable was a, a a DVR cable, like for like a DVR system and stuff like that. So, but instead we we figured out that this is actually for the backup camera to install later. And uh, previously we did have a backup cord right here that we installed already all the way through uh, into the back. And uh, right now we, it, it will fit right into the video in in cord. And uh, that'll, that'll, be your, that'll be your backup camera one. All right, so before we can uh, put everything back in, we gotta plug in the whole power cord and, in general into the system right here you gotta open this latch first and then you plug it in and then you close it and now you gotta make sure that the system or that you and then you put all the wires back in and then you can uh, put all the bolts back on mm -hmm. so we forgot one more thing we forgot to do the the Wi-Fi cable that we forgot you got, you got to glue it onto somewhere, but we we decided to glue it on right here. So I'm about to just do that right now. You can do the corners just in case you want to move it later in the future.
go. Okay, now we're gonna put the cords back in. All right, before we start putting everything back on the bolts, you might, we probably should just check it first, to just see if it works. Yes. All right, so that's finally what, what I wanted it to do. I wanted the, the system to turn off every time I took out the key. There you go. And it, I wanted it to turn on by itself as well every time I turn the key on. There you go, it works. All right, so finally we got what we wanted. We wanted to turn off whenever we turn our key off. And now we're gonna put it, put the four bolts on. We're gonna put the one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna put the screen back on, just like this. Okay, just a note, uh, when I was taking off this screen, there's supposed to be seven of these little clamps. And uh, since I was doing it too hard, it, I ended up breaking two of them. And yeah, the, the ones right here and right here. So just be aware and uh, be careful when you're pulling off the screen. Thank <laughs> you.